Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up, what's good with you? Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Shani. I do makeup videos, I do hair videos, I do vlogs sometimes. Um, I'm a little bit of fashion. Follow me on Instagram because girl, I know you want to keep updated with me like you're new. You want to know how I am. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got my hair like this. So let's just go ahead and get into this hair video, hair tutorial, whatever you want to call it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> okay, so this is how my hair is looking after a very fun and lit Halloween party. <laughs> I fell asleep on my hair and everything. Girl, first off, the style came about because my hair was straightened. I've been to the gym and it's just been frizzing up on its own, but the gym really like messed up my hair. So obviously wearing my hair straight was really not an option. I had to do something to my hair because the day before this, it was supposed to go up into a messy ponytail type thing with a little bit of curls, but that wasn't working. And all of this happened when I was supposed to be going out of town to see my best friend and going to the fair. So I wanted my hair to look good, but my hair was like, nah, I'm gonna play you today. So, <laughs> I just ended up leaving it how it was. It looked frizzy like this, but even more frizzy, less defined curls. And yeah, it looked a hot mess. So, when it was time for me to go to sleep and get ready for bed, I was like, let me put my hair in some china bumps or bantu knots, whatever you want to call them. But I was like, yeah, I have to do something to my hair because the work week is coming up and I just need to look presentable. And I was like, yeah, this style always comes through for me and everybody loves this style on me. So, I don't know why the heck it took me so long to actually film this video. But here it is and here is how I style my straight end frizzy trying to revert hair let's get it all right so before we get into doing the bantu knots on my natural hair i'm going to show you guys how i blow out these clip-ins from her given hair because i did use clip-ins to make my hair thicker y'all know my hair is on the thin side especially when it's straight so i love to use clip in so a word from today's sponsor so this video is sponsored by her given hair and in this video i'm going to be using the coily 3c through 4a texture the length of these clip-ins are 18 inches and the hair color that i got is 1b and i did end up trimming and cutting these clip-ins because i didn't want to deal with the blending aspect of clip-ins i just wanted to put the clip-ins in and i wanted them to blend like that i didn't want to have to like match my hair length with the clip-ins so yeah so as you guys can see i'm starting off by spraying the clip-ins with just water and that's how i kind of start off the detangling process i kind of like detangle it with my fingers and I kind of just go in and keep massaging the water into the hair until it softens up. And then once I feel like the hair softens up, I'm going to go into actually the detangling process. So I'm taking this One United spray from Redken and I'm spraying it all over my clip-ins to help me actually detangle these clip-ins really, really quick. And to help protect the clip-ins from heat damage because... I just blasted the heat with all of my hot tools. I didn't really care about the heat and how much heat I was putting on the clip-ins because it's not my hair, so I didn't really care. But I tried to protect the clip-ins just a little bit. And now I'm starting to brush out the clip-ins. Now I couldn't really show you guys that how I did it on camera. I had to put my clip-ins in my mouth to actually show y'all me detangling it. So I did put it in my mouth, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me, I just had to do what I had to do. And this was like the only way I could show y'all on camera me detangling the hair. So so after I detangled the hair, I had to do the same thing to blow dry the hair. So I did blow dry the hair and let's just cut to me curling the hair because I attached the clip-ins to my hair for that process. Okay, so this is how the clip-ins look all blown out and they blow out really, really nicely. The texture was still good. The ends were a little frizzy, but I really didn't mind the ends of the hair because I was trimming the hair anyways just to match the length of my hair but yeah the clip-ins blew out really nicely they're really soft um, and they look like my hair which is kind of cool I put the wand curler on the highest heat and I just wand curl the hair by twisting the hair around itself and twisting it around the wand this honestly sounds really confusing but, but once you start wand curling your hair you'll get what I'm talking about don't lay the hair flat on the wand curl that's going to get you a different type of curl you have to twist the hair around itself and twist it around the wand yo that sounds so confusing but 
here. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> and voila, then you have a nice little bouncy wand curl. Now I'm gonna do this again. You wanna twist the hair around itself and twist it on the wand. And then once I hold it on the curling wand for about 20, 20 seconds, um, I'll let it go and then let it cool off in my hand and I'll scrunch it together and that kind of like sets the curl and locks it in. But you do want to be careful with that part because it does get a little hot. So be careful or wear a glove. All right, so my clip-ins are all curled, and one of the reasons why I like to do this when I'm prepping my hair at night, because it actually saves time when I'm getting ready in the morning or afternoon or night. It just saves time when I'm actually getting ready. So I don't have to be curling my clip-ins. All I have to do is just loose out my bantu knots and go and lay my baby hairs, because you know, you can't forget about a baby hair, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just taking out the rest of my clip-ins, and these clip-ins that are already in my head, I'm not going to recurl them or anything. Usually the curls stay in the clip-ins. I don't have to really recurl the clip-ins. The only time I have to recurl them is if they're getting really small, and that's when I'll brush it out and just recurl it and let it sit overnight with, you know, the rest of my clip-ins. But majority of the time I take them out because I always have to recurl or reband to not my hair because my hair does not hold a curl. So, yeah, I digress. <laughs> Let's finish taking out the clip-ins. Okay, so all the clip-ins are out and this is how my hair looks naturally with the no clip-ins and this is how it looks after me sleeping on it for a night. So I wore it the whole day, slept on it, woke up the next day and this is how it looked at the end of the day. So this is why I always have to like re tune out my hair because my hair just doesn't really hold a curl. Okay, so the two products that I'm going to be using for this style is the Frisbee Gone Serum and this Marc Anthony True Professionals Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Humidity Shield Hairspray. It's supposed to block humidity to fight frizz and it has extra hold. But honestly, I don't think the hairspray did too much of a good job on me because honestly, if it's humid outside, nothing is going to work on my hair to keep it from frizzing. It's just gonna frizz and then once I go to the gym at night, it's done for. So I really have to do my hair every night to make it look like something. So I don't really mind, I do mind, but then I don't, I do, but then I don't. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is detangle my hair as you guys can see i'm just using this brush and i'm literally obsessed with this brush because it's so good with detangling my hair it's ridiculous i love this brush okay so i'm just going to detangle my hair and then i'm going to take the frisbee gone serum and put that on my hair first and then once i massage that through my hair and my strands i'm going to take the frisbee gone um not frisbee gone i'm going to take the hairspray and spray that on my hair because the hairspray gives a little moisture so it helps with my hair curling if I just do bantu knots on my dry hair my hair is not gonna curl so I need some type of moisture on my hair and that's what the hairspray gives to me without making my hair revert completely so bow okay so right after I spray the hairspray on my hair I try to work really quickly so that all the hairspray doesn't dry up before I actually get to twist my hair so I like to start off by twisting the hair flat around each other it's kind of like I'm doing a two strand twist without doing a two strand twist and then I twist it all the way down to the bottom and then once I get down to the bottom I twist my hair around my finger and then start to do the knot and then while I'm doing the knot I twist the knot the opposite direction that I'm twisting in so that the knot won't be too tight. And then after I'm done with the knot, I put a bobby pin or a bow around it just to keep it in place while I'm sleeping. Okay, so that was a mouthful of me trying to explain to you guys how to do the bantu knots. So now I'm just gonna let you guys watch and observe and hopefully you grasp it more that way because me talking, I feel like I'm confusing you guys. So. Let's just watch and then I'll come back. And I'll keep these clips in real time because I feel like if I speed it up, then it's gonna be more confusing. I will be cutting it down. So you guys will see it jump cut to another clip so that it won't be too many spaces in between. But other than the jump cuts, this is in real time.
Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all one more time just to reiterate. So we're gonna start off by detangling and sectioning off the hair. Um, this is gonna help the hair be more smooth when you are about to twist your hair because you don't want any lumps or knots in your hair. You want everything to be really, really smooth. So I'm gonna section off and detangle my hair. And then once I do that, I'm gonna get some oil and hairspray. I'm massaging the oil through my hair and then with the hairspray it's going to give my hair hold and it's going to allow it to actually hold and actually curl because if I do this on dry hair it's not going to curl. So spraying my hair with the hairspray and then right after I spray my hair with the hairspray I'm going to start by twisting my hair all the way down and once I get all the way down to the bottom of my hair it's already going to be a tight coil so it's going to naturally go ahead and coil and curl into a knot okay so I'm gonna keep twisting it all the way to the bottom and then once I get to the bottom I'm going to twist my hair around my finger and then start the coil because at this point the hair is already really really taut and really tight so it's gonna naturally start to bend so before it does that that's when I twist it around my finger and start to form it into that knot and then you just want to wrap the ends around the base of the bantu knot you can tuck your hair under the bantu knot or you can hold it into place and use a bobby pin or a bow to hold it in place i'm going to use a bow for the front of my head because i want this to stay in place i don't want this to move so this is how everything looks after i'm done but when you are doing your bantu knot just make sure you don't start really tight at the root because while you're making the bantu knot it's going to get tighter so you don't want to start off too tight because if you do do that and your bantu knots are really really tight then it's going to be hard to sleep on and that's just uncomfortable so so try not to start off at the base really really tight just softly coil it and then once you start to make it into that knot it will get tighter naturally okay so it's technically two or three days later if i'm not mistaken but we just want to say it's the morning after because um that's basically how i usually do this hair i don't keep the bantu knots in my hair for like two or three days so i'm just gonna go ahead and take out the bantu knots because you know I got places to go, people to see, things to do, pictures to take. So this is how this Bantu knot came out. It was kind of loose and falling out, so that kind of affected how the Bantu knot is curled. But you know what? That's okay. So when it comes to taking out the Bantu knots, I'll just take the bobby pin out and then twist the Bantu knot the opposite direction and then pull it down. And it usually just comes out. Just like that. Do the same thing with this one. Even though it has a bow tie on it, you can just easily just screw it out and then come out. That one looks kind of weird. Great. And I'm just going to do that all over my head until all of the bantu knots are loosened. I kind of put these in a little tight so my scalp is kind of sore. So try not to put them in too tight because that can lead to breakage and nobody wants to deal with that. Yeah. So now I'm just going to separate the curls, light it, and I don't like to force them apart. I just like to let them, you know, separate how they want to separate. And surprisingly, the hairspray didn't make my hair super fluffy and it didn't make my hair frizz up so that is good all right so these are the clip-ins that i'm putting in my hair and i have two three clip-in wefts and this will go in the middle of my head because that's like the longest part of my head or the widest part of my head and then i have three two clip-in wefts that i'm going to be using in one one clip-in weft so y'all see how it looks literally like my yeah I'm putting out one okay I'm telling you all my secrets all right I'm gonna start off with the middle of my head and put the longest widest clippings there all right so I'm taking the three clipping weft and we're gonna place it a little bit below the parting because I'm putting another clip in right here take the three clipping weft and I'm gonna kind of lift up the hair and then clip it down 
so that if you do want to take your hair and put it up in a ponytail, you can. Voila, I don't know if y'all peeped that, but I can literally like put it up in a ponytail if I want to. Now I'm taking my second clip and left and placing that right on top. Well, not on top, but above it. So yeah, this is how the hair is looking a lot more thicker. Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to the side of my head and part it off a little bit and then I'm going to take this two clipping web and place it right here. I'm kind of lifting up my hair and clipping the clip in on my hair. So if I want to put it up in a ponytail, it can just go up in a messy ponytail and not be like pulling at my hair. So like I can literally just throw it up just like that. I'll just take a little bit of hair. And just cover that clip in and voila she's there and you can't tell moving on to this side of my head you're gonna do the same thing a little bit of hair right here and you don't have to neatly part your hair because as y'all can see I'm not neatly parting my hair when I'm doing this and I'm getting ready for work I'm literally like throwing these clippings in my hair right now I'm pretty calm because I'm not heading to work so it's a little more relaxed. So lifting the hair up and then clipping it. Lifting the hair up and clipping it. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all seen that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me, let me take this out and do it again. All right, so just lifting the hair up and clipping it into the hair, just like that. So like I said, I can throw it up in a bunch of the hair is already getting thicker. <laughs> yes! Alright, so so far I have two clip-ins in the back. And then I have two clip-ins on the side. So now I'm going to take this two clip-in left. Let's see where I'm going to put it. Because my hair is thin, so i got to watch where I place everything. Placement is a very big thing. And I'm just going to take this and have it like off to the side like this. So it's not in the front of my head. But it's kind of like swooping off to the side. So I'm doing the same thing. Lifting it up. Clipping it. Lifting my hair up. And then clipping it. One thing that I haven't mastered is me sleeping with my hair like this. I always have to do it again at night. So it only lasts me like a day. Unless I fall asleep and forget to do it. But majority of the time, if I want my hair to be looking really, really good, I have to do it again that night and go to sleep and wake up and do this all over again. Um, but I'm sure if you have that type of hair that holds a curl, then I'm pretty sure you can just throw it up in a pineapple and wake up in the morning and fluff it up. But my hair doesn't really do that. So, yeah, I'm still figuring that part out. So I'm going to put one more clip-in with probably like right here on the crown of my head. Lift a piece of the hair up and just clip it on there. So it's kind of like it's floating in the wind, but not really. It's attached to my hair. And then I like to like do this number. Like fluff it a little bit more. And then it's just like, wow, is that your Is that your <laughs> I get that a lot. I do got a shirt on. Actually, it's a bodysuit. And I do have pants on. Alright you guys, so I'm back and it's the end of the night and I had to lay my edges because edges have to be laid. Even though you can't really see my edges, you know what I'm saying? Like if I want to go like, go like this or something like that, I need my edges to be laid. So I had to go pick up a new edge control because the one that I had ran out and it was doing something real funny. It was turning oily and I'm not sure why this is the one that I normally use. It was not laying down my edges at all, which is really weird because I never had that problem with that edge control. But it's okay. I got a new one. I went to the beauty supply store that I normally go to. And um, one of the girls put me onto this one. She was like, yeah, try touchdown. And that should work because I was looking at the um, beeswax or something like that. And she was like, you're not going to like that. So I was like, um, okay, what do you recommend? And she was like, get this one. So I got that one. And thanks, sis. It really like, you know, 
I'm feeling it. So yeah, that's the new edge control that I'm going to be using. And this is how my hair is looking after taking pictures outside. It was humid. It was drizzling. It really was not a good day for me to be like outside like that. But you know, I had to like get a picture in. I, I don't really know if I got a good picture in, but honestly, I'm going on a tangent. That's beside the point. This is my hair in the clip-ins. Thank you so much, Her Given Hair, for sponsoring this video. I will link everything down below for you guys that I used in this video. And if it's not in my description box, just give me, girl, I don't know, just give me like a day or two to update it. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Comment down below. Make sure y'all are subscribed because y'all be coming back and watching to the end of the video. Y'all be seeing me do all of this and y'all still don't be subscribing. Like, just subscribe i don't understand why y'all don't be subscribing so stop looking at me subscribe to my channel and click the next video because i know you're not doing nothing so i'll see y'all in this video bye <laughs>